Now, if you are still considering buying a driver in the remainder of 2023, then one of the key attributes that you should be putting on top of that list is forgiveness. Because as average golfers, it's certainly what we need and require. And the five drivers that I have in these boxes come with forgiveness as their number one priority. And pretty much it's available in abundance, in my opinion. Before we go any further, I want you to get involved in the comment section below and let me know what you think is hidden away in these boxes. So five through to one. What do you think are my top five drivers of 2023 when it comes to forgiveness? Right, let's get stuck in. Let's go to the top of the pile and um, let's reveal what is in box number five. Well, I think let's just get straight stuck in. Eh? Let's chuck that box to one side. It is from Callaway. It is the Big Bertha 23. Now, it's a real interesting product, this, because Big Bertha is synonymous with user friendliness, in my opinion, in terms of golfers. But what they did with the Big Bertha 23, different than the other drivers that are out there right now, including others in their lineup, is this is an extra large face that has been designed. And that design has also meant that we've got a bigger sweet spot and therefore higher MOI and higher levels of forgiveness. It's the key attribute of this Big Bertha 23 lineup. But the other key attribute is also offset and draw bias. It sits at number five because yes, it's super forgiving, but you could argue that it's a slightly odd shape and heavily draw bias a lot of offset at address, which be slight negatives and maybe reduce the appeal to many. So super, super forgiving, but a few little quirks in there that mightn't appeal to everybody. Number five, Big Bertha 23. Right, let's go into number four. Now, if you got involved in that comment section and went for the top five, my guess is that you will not guess what is in this box. In fact, it's not in this box because it doesn't fit in one. Because one of the negatives towards this driver is that it's not a uh, got an adjustable hosel. The driver is from Zexio and it's a brand that I tried for the first time this year. This is the latest model. It's a Zexio 12. It is super forgiving. In fact, all of the drivers, all of the products that I've tried from Zexio seem to have that as a real priority once again in their setup. What I'm unsure about with the Zexio product is they all seem to come with super lightweight shafts that are also counterbalanced. That counterbalancing is all to do with, without going into too much detail, squaring up their head at address from the top of our downswing. Tall story, I know, but what I can't argue with, it was super impressive out on the fairways and that forgiveness, if that was the key, meant that my ball speeds remained constant. And to be quite honest with you, no matter what swing I seemed to put on it, the ball went relatively straight, but also didn't lose any distance at all. Super easy to use, high launching, ticks every box for me. The negative would be and why it sits in at number four is that non-adjustable hosel for me is a potential downside. Right, let's stick that to one side and we'll jump straight in to number three. Now number three, quite possibly will be a brand that you have in your list, but I'm not sure this would be the model, but it's certainly the one with the most forgiveness with the, um, from rather tailor-made and their current stealth 2 lineup now this is their hd model and that's why i said i'm not too sure whether or not this is one you would actually have chosen but trust me and what tailor-made say is this is the most forgiving driver within their current lineup and i would totally concur with that and largely for me because of the distribution of weight I've not really seen a weight placed as far back, uh, as heavier weight rather, placed as so far back. It's 30 grams of weight they've shoved at the back end. They've also put some weight in into the heel because this is obviously, again, another draw bias driver. The difference with this driver is though that the crown is normal in its shape. It's very much the same as the others as slight tweaks, but if you put all three stealth models down, you'd 
be hard pushed to pitch which one is which. So it's very normal, if you like, unlike the Big Bertha, which is a triangular shape. Whilst it's got offset, it's not hugely visible. And I wouldn't notice it, recognize it as a draw bias driver. But the one thing that is unquestionable is that 30 gram weight has been shifted way back and there's a huge effort in doing one thing and that's making this driver extremely forgiving. And that's exactly what it is. Now we're getting down to very much the, the nitty gritty. And if I'm honest with you, the top three are very much inseparable and minor detail as to why I would have chosen one over the other. But we're into number two. And number two will once again have probably featured on your list. Uh, oddly enough, it's from a brand that we have already featured. And that is from Callaway, but this time it is from their Paradigm lineup. Paradigm has been hugely successful for Callaway. And not all of it has been designed purely based on forgiveness. This Paradigm X certainly has. Their goal has been to produce the highest MOI driver within their lineup. They've certainly achieved that. Once again, you'll see about weight distribution is all at the back end. And it is just all out a driver that when I tried it on the fairways, no matter what swing I felt I put on it, the ball seemed to finish in a similar position in terms of distance traveled. The one thing I'm slightly negative about with the Paradigm lineup in terms of the drivers and fairways and such is that it's a quite a very soft and muted sound. So much so that you don't really recognize the difference between a good and bad shot. And that's the bit that sort of surprised me is every time I hit a ball that seemed okay and you watch it traveling in the air, it seemed to continue traveling. And like I said, from a forgiveness perspective, I can even see from the close-ups here where I've hit, I've hit all over the club face. That is one forgiving driver and uh, certainly deserves its place right up at the top end of the tree in terms of my top five. That is the Callaway Paradigm X. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf megastore, bringing you the hottest deals in golf, and of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below, and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. Leaves just one box, and once again, I would suggest that this driver will have featured within the list that you have put together. It is without doubt the most forgiving driver. In fact, from the brand, it's quoted as being the driver that has their highest ever MOI. And when you consider who the brand is, that's a bold statement because their whole sort of setup is very much aimed with being has forgiveness as being very much top of their priority list. They make products for the uh, the man in the street, in my opinion, and the Ping G430 Max is the epitome of that. It's a super forgiving driver, and its predecessors were also super forgiving, but this is the driver that has produced the highest MOI ever from Ping. What I like about this and why it gets to the top of the pile in terms of forgiveness is it because it as a club overall ticks other boxes in the fact that it's got an adjustable hosel that some others didn't. It's also got an adjustable weight bar which others didn't. So that gives a lot more customized options in what is already a very forgiving driver. So without doubt, Ping do this so, so well they really need to drop the turbulators to get my full seal of approval, but it's a super, super driver. It's super forgiving. And for anybody out there who has tried this, I think the one thing, you might be bits that you'd like or dislike, subjective opinions like mine in terms of turbulators, but one thing we can't argue with is the Ping G430 Max is a super forgiving driver. And like I said at the beginning, if you're an average golfer, if you want to buy a new driver, then forgiveness should be top of the tree in terms of what you're looking for in terms of uh, performance. You've got five drivers there, which arguably could all mix them around. And like I said, from subjective opinions, change them slightly. But as golfers right now, we have huge options and you must make sure you make the most of those options and get out there and try everything you can. All of these drivers, 
probably bar the Zexio, is readily available from most retailers and custom fit outlets. So make sure when you get the opportunity, don't go in there with preconceptions and buy yourself a Ping G430 Max. Make sure you try as many as you possibly can. And I'm sure you'll come out with a driver that forgives all those, uh, well, slightly awkward swings that we put on every now and again and we need as much forgiveness as we can get right that's my top five drivers of 2023 thank you for watching i'll see you all soon